Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with uh, the Paladins video, we're playing some Void today with her new cards. I've actually put together like a full new version of the build that I think I'll be running. I haven't played actually any games with this, it's more of first impressions, but this card, False Idol, is kind of crazy. Unified in purpose also got kind of buffed with the duration and damage reduction being changed, so it scales like this now. And then also Broken Promises, which is a card I don't think people will run anyway, but it got put up to 100 from 60 per level but yeah this is what i'm gonna be running i might tweak it after the matches today i haven't played with it but it looks really strong and also really fun i messed around with the pts but yeah aside from that i haven't actually tried i haven't played vora in a minute and you don't need to give me an excuse to make another vora video we've got siege ascension peak so the healer grok sky who might also pop out a little bit double tank term and makoa versus fury of the Anne mave fernando who i've again seen a ton after the patch and a sky essentially the way to look at this i'm going to run without this here for game one is that it's just another self heal card for vora extra health and then the extra heal on the stacks and instead of like the heal on the queue which is a little bit you know underwhelming and isn't that crazy especially because you can miss it uh, this is just better i think for most people it doesn't make the other builds bad or anything and um yeah it technically is also inconsistent because it's got an eternal timer and it only triggers me with a little health but the damage reduction could also be better same with the queue heal is what i'm saying it's just overall i think this can be really strong shout out there to i think it was the makoa we've got swing and dagger spirits domain decimation half shell scorch swing and dagger again eminent self blessing and street justice don't know if i actually should have gone for the like chronos here i feel like life it might have been better i'm a little bit rusty with Vorman. it's been a minute i feel like my aim is just crazy quick here i felt like i was gliding around there like crazy and i really couldn't control my aim or my movement very well but that's because grok's running like a max speed buff and we also have it in the build and i got like below the threshold there i think twice I don't know. More hits on the Fernando here. He's just going to be pretty much impossible to get rid of. We'll just do the right click for the damage. I think I'm dead here to the Leanne big damage on it. I don't know if the card triggered there, but I feel like I'm getting ridiculous life rip. I think it did. I did go for the talent, and I feel like I do not have my F up enough. I'm dead here any second. Grok's healing me a little bit. I guess we're sort of fine. Yeah, he's doing work on heals. I don't know how we're not getting on it. I'm just going to put the blame down to Fernando. And that pull just didn't work. I died. Just got the end is the way I guess I'm going to label that. I got presenced for 1.2k as I dashed in. Got hit with the rifle once, and then the auto aim. That is a, yeah, the Anne moment. I'm hoping by the time you see this video, it's fixed, but the servers have been very jag. The Anne's here on the side, going kind of with like the full kit burster. There we go. But yeah, I didn't bother pointing out in the previous like couple videos because I don't want to just repeat myself and saying the servers are bad. But yeah, they've been pretty rough for at least a couple of the matches I played recently. And this one specifically, I noticed it in. I just went in super hard and got stunned. That felt kind of bad, but yeah, the fear of like beam heal here is kind of crazy. There's a right kick. Didn't even do that much because I wasn't fully stacked. Um, we're gonna just pull. Don't know why I couldn't pull there. I was just spamming the F and I couldn't pull. Does Mave Blind stop you from pulling? I don't think that it does, right? Even though I can't see the thing, I'm pretty sure I'm still able to pull to it. The setup has been definitely distracting is the way that I would put it, and in a way that I don't know if I would necessarily recommend it. It really throws you off to just randomly get like a 30% movement speed buff when you're not expecting it. The lifesteal has been really nice, and I can totally see this card being really good. I think I just need to adapt to it a little bit because it's a little bit more chaotic than uh, what you might want for a Siege. That's a Sky Ultimate. There is E-02 though, died in the slow-mo. There the end has just gone kind of crazy here. I feel like as a team, their accuracy is like ridiculous. To be honest, I'm getting bursted a ton and taking a lot of damage. Obviously, I'm on for us. I'm pretty squishy. We don't have the damage reduction, which I would usually kind of like here. It's worked. The setup's been fine, but trying to play like a damage here is kind of the thing I have to do, which is why I've grabbed Rekka, because that's the sort of role I'm taking, because we already have a Sky who's playing as like a healer sort of flank. I can't go around and flank against a team like that with the team we've got as well. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird game to show her off, especially with this setup, because it makes her very chaotic. And I'm trying to play it consistently. I'm trying to go in on the Liam, but I just take so much damage. I'm going to go for my ultimate. I guess that kind of worked. Did that land? I don't know what I just hit with that, but we're alive. Grox ulting. That was so insanely scuffed. I'm going to pull in here on the... Yeah, Furia. She is gone. What just happened with the rubber banding? Servers. Are they on? I, I can't tell. I feel like the wrong potatoes plugged in. What is happening? My F just didn't work as well. Uh, there's the queue for a bit of self-heal. I'm dead. Grok is healing me. I'm trying to, like, play this little corner. I'm dead. That felt terrible. I rubber banded, like, three times, and my F is just not really working right. I'm going to hit F9 to bring it up as if that's, like, showing me anything. Term tried to run in here on the right side. I was going in with it, but yeah, there we go. There is the 2 I nearly walked into a Fury Beam for nothing. Leon is just kind of hitting me with a combo. That's, like, 2k, and I'm pretty much insta-dead. There's a bit of damage on the sky. She's out. My voice is starting to go. Hits here on the Fernando. Just scared the hand off on the right side, but I feel like the entire team's been putting in work. It's just a match where we kind of need a damage, and I'm trying to sort of play that role as Vora, because, again, I can't flank. I'm going to go in here on the Leanne, because it is just her. There's a cripple, and she's gone, even with the Fury ult. Yeah, if she's in a spot like that, I can kind of go in, but usually they're playing like a team. Uh, what happened to the Maeve? I can't aim. Can we actually get the kill here, at least? There we go. My god, the entire team's out. I'm definitely dead. Kind of the way I'd actually just described the match so far is very chaotic, and the setup is definitely adding to that. I'm going to pull in here and go on the Leanne again, because when she's on her own, we can sort of deal with her. That is not what I wanted to do. I right-clicked. I clicked every button at the same time, and I was able to use my right-click because I queued instead. Sky got recovered. That was a play for sure. We technically took her out. Did she use her ultimate there as well? I, I'm not sure. 
Fury's on a 20 streak, the Fernando's on 30. Fernando may be a little bit too good. I know that's a bold statement, but I feel like by the time this video goes out, probably a couple of days after I'm recording it, that's uh, not a very unique thing to say, because he's been very, very popular, which usually says a lot. The speed we have, by the way, I'm so not used to just getting a random speed buffer that much, especially with the Croc, and I've said it already, but it's kind of absurd. There's a cripple on the May. My plays have been so jank, but look at the number on the left. Sky's healing me, Grok's healing me. I'm trying to play like a damage. The Fernando shield, though, even though I don't think he's like fully even going for a Scepter regen, it is just kind of absurd. I am clearing it. Wrecker is putting in work. This hits on the Leon. She's really, really low. I'm dead. That Eminence is just hitting me for insane damage. Her talent is putting in effort. I'm going to pop the ult. I'm just trying to buy a little bit of time here. I got some damage. My F is so inconsistent on this map. I don't know really specifically why. Is Makoa saving it for next game or is he going to be able to pop it? Yeah, there we go. It's still over. I'm pretty sure it's a 0-4 here. I do feel like I'm kind of obligated to point out that the Fernando isn't even running Aegis. He is actually running a uh, Scorch setup. And he's, you know, actually popping his shield this much and is this annoying with it. I'm just going to stay in here for the damage reduction for a little minute. Heal up. That scared them off enough, I guess. The team kind of came back in. It's going to be at least a one point for our side. There we go. But Fernando is literally running a full fireball setup, but he's basically getting the both sides of Fernando damage and also shielding, which is why I called the rework kind of like perfect rework, which I think is sort of appropriate, a little bit, you know, excessive, but, you know, accurate, I think. And a lot of people are going to agree after he's been around for a little while, because I think the annoyance for him is going to stack up to the point where he's probably going to get pulled down a little bit in the next update would be my guess. Maybe not, though. I could be wrong. I don't know where anybody is. I'm just kind of firing in the general direction of where I see damage numbers. Don't really know what I'm doing here, just trying to be annoying with Vora. I'm sort of focusing the Fernando just because I feel like I'm the only one who can get rid of the shield. Sky's here somewhere. Uh, Fernando damage on him again. I'm going to go for the ultimate just to guarantee the kill here. He's going to have enough time to pull his up. Can we get the ult off still? Um, maybe. Uh, that started the animation, I think, and then just didn't go out. Don't know really what I'm doing, but hey, I bought enough time. We have recovery mechanics, so I went for it. Definitely kind of strange, but I'd be surprised if we pulled this round as a team and we actually flip it. Uh, it's a Fury ult. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. We're going to try and play the Mako shoot a little bit. They're all sort of grouped. That's a Fury beam. I nearly sent myself off the map from the knock there. I'm just going to pull all the way over. I've played so scuffed here on Vora. A right click. That dealt damage. I'm still dead. Going to finish off armor planning, I think, before I finish off Freka. I don't know if I need anything else. I feel like I can kind of delay life a little bit because of the setup and the team. That Eminence did just Eminence. Can't really do anything to play around like the Leanne Eminence. I kind of just have to tank it because it's such a fast ability. I don't know why the Fernando ulted. That must have been a misclick. Uh, Grox ulting. Kind of a good time to use it, I guess. Now we know we can push in. Do I go super hard? But the Maeve ulted. Um, the Sky ulted there. Sure. Hello, Maeve. Didn't even know she was there. It's kind of worked out. Got rid of the Sky. Feel like I'm tanking just silly damage in this one. I'm going to right click just to make sure I don't get hit for like anything little. I'm still dead. How did I take that much damage from like the Fernando flame? I don't know how, I feel like I should have healed up at some point there. Did also want to mention the internal timer for the card is actually showing in the bottom right, which is nice because I don't think that was working on the PTS. I guess they fixed it. But yeah, we finished off our wrecker. I don't know if I should have really grab life rip or nimble, but hey, we went for it. I feel like I'm going to go through shields like crazy. There's a right click for some damage, but yeah, there's the push failed. The team is putting in work. I've got to give these guys props. It's just whenever our grok is out, it's kind of you know, done. We can't really make the push without the healer. He has got a bit of a tough scenario here, just because the Leanne is bursty, like crazy, and uh, especially with the Fernando stacking fireballs and stuff, he's got a lot of work to do, like healing-wise and also just avoiding damage. Did see the Leanne on the right side, I'm just going to try and duel with the Fernando and keep his shield down. There's the cripple. Yeah, that is just the Leanne burst. Um, hello, Sky. I don't really know where to place myself here. That was a really good hook, but the Fernando is on point with the ultimate. So Leanne is over there. I'm going to try and fight back a little bit. Did get some good taps there. I'm just trying my best to not die. And again, I'm focusing down the Fernando, which I think is sort of my job. But then Makoa died there even in the ultimate. There's a right click. That's not going to be enough just by a little bit. And um, we're gone. That's a Grok all a little bit late there. Maybe I should have used mine. Sky and Makoa ulted. Makoa still lost all of his health because he was kind of a little bit too far forward. I don't know when Sky ulted on our side. Don't know how the Leanne saw me there. I feel like I was actually pretty subtle with that. The pull, again, just not working. The range, I wish was just a little bit longer on it. That would make Vora feel significantly better on these sort of maps, but it's also kind of my bad for not knowing the perfect range for it. To get rid of the Maeve there, I'm going to push in. The stun is going to completely body me. I was spamming the F, but it didn't work. Do I go for the ultimate? Is that going to be enough? Don't really know what I'm doing here. Grok hit me with the heal, so I guess we're all right. Uh, hello, Fernando. I want to try and stay sort of behind. He's like emoting. I don't know if that's because they're giving it to us or if he actually just kind of realized he was dead. I'm not sure. Maybe a misclick. He also ulted earlier for no reason. Uh, the end ultimate. Fernando here trying to go for like a sneaky flank. I don't know if they're purposely like extending this. I don't think that they are, but it's kind of hard to tell. We got the objective. My job was just dismounting there and be kind of annoying. But, like this entire game, I've just been sort of dueling with the Fernando and at the end we mitigated an eminence, but we're still dead. Get some more Kronos, get some more life. But the end has been pretty hard to deal with in this one, but arguably the Fernando has been even more annoying because he's basically playing against Fernando with the damage side as well. You know, it's really hard for me to get across if you've 
like not really played against Fernando that much or with him that much, and now he's different. He's significantly harder to deal with. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised we capped it, and yet they're pushing us really aggressively here. Do we have to play like a damage here and the chaos is a little bit too much? Did nobody see the sky ult there? I guess our sky ult did kind of a similar time. Um, I'm dead. The entire team is gone. I don't think I played that great, but it doesn't matter. We were, we were dead there anyway. Seems like the team kind of lost to a sky ultimate, meanwhile I lost to the, the Un Eminence, who is hitting it an insane percentage. I'm going to be real with you. I don't think she's cheating. She's just very, very accurate, and my F is not working as much as I would like it to, and it feels kind of terrible. I'm going to run over in this direction. Do have the ultimate? I don't really know what I want to do here. I'm going to try and time it. Um, did that work? Is she still sitting there? We hit another one. There's a right click. I won that duel on like 500 health, I think. Overall, though, it has been a really good game. Even if we lose it, this has been a pretty damn fantastic showcase for this setup. Although, I'm sure you've been able to tell there's a lot of added chaos just because of this card triggering and me not really playing around it very well. But the life steal feels really good. I don't know how it stacks with life rip, by the way. I don't know if I pointed that out already, but I don't know if I should have even grabbed life rip. I feel like the card doesn't replace life rip because it's only triggering below like a health percentage. It kind of works together. It's definitely not countering it, you know, but I tried to play it safe. Got beamed by the Fury. Grox ulting. I don't know if I hit that or not. I don't know if I really want to focus the Fernando. The team's going kind of in on the flankers. I feel like I should try and ult him that's a fury ult uh, yeah let's remove the fernando i think that's the play right and then we'll pull in try and go aggressively on somebody they're all low right click i thought i might be able to finish off the mave she's really really low i didn't play that great i thought we were going all in the team were ulted but i probably shouldn't have gone in that much i thought they were lower i thought the team was pushing in so aggressively because they were low but grok's gone just died to the fernando that's going to be a gg i think without a healer can i pull twice oh my god that is so scuffed like getting the f to work feels really inconsistent i guess it's because of the server jank tried to pull in there's some big damage but uh yeah i'm gone just trying to get a distraction for the two tanks to get in don't know if that was the right play i got some decent damage on the squishies but a mave's out sky's putting in work we don't have enough to finish off uh chronos just by a little bit sky ultimate hopefully the team plays around it this time i probably shouldn't wait to finish off chronos i don't think it's gonna matter i probably should have finished off life which for some reason i thought i did already team kind of made that work i don't know victory. victory was he not on that there i feel like they kind of gave that to us but the team also sort of like zoned them off and they were a little bit slow to get to the point I'm confused. I feel like we don't really deserve the win, but it's probably just because I was playing really jank. I think the team played well enough for the win. That's what I mean. Just not me necessarily there. Yeah, really quite surprised and confused we won that one there. It seems like uh, the Fernando was also quite confused. Shouts out to the Sky and possibly anybody else. There he says, I have the mark, so I guess it shows for other people. I'm really confused. If you've seen me in game, does it show? Because it doesn't show for me anymore, so I assume they just kind of removed the whole idea of like, the verified badge thing, but... Maybe it still shows for other people, because for me it just doesn't. But anyway, there you go, there are these stats for you. I should have played way better there. I died way too much, my positioning was terrible. Our damage is okay, and I think the way I tried to play her worked as like a sort of damage occasionally flanking, because I couldn't have gone full flank mode there. Our sky did work though, so did the croc. I think our tanks could have done better, but they, you know, put in effort and they actually played the point. They did their job a bit. Damage wise, that's kind of low. For their side, there the end went massive, and somehow their Fernando went even bigger. And again, this is whilst being as annoying as he was with the shield there. He didn't even buy the thing to buff the shield. He went for rejuvenate and, you know, items that made sense. Those worked really well, but the stat there is ridiculous. If you really think about how good Fernando is at the moment, might be a little bit overtuned. I'm not sure. I'll leave it up to you guys. The Mave put in work, the Sky put in work, and so do the Furia. They deserve the win if you look at the stats and just the way that match played and the way I played, but we managed to win it, I'm imagining, because of luck, but also I think they might have given us a point or two somewhere in there. I'm not sure, I'm just guessing because I feel like I kind of cheesed that one. Their Fury heal is ridiculous, by the way. She was playing really well with the beam. It's very rare that I see a solo blessing Furia put in work. I'm going to give her specifically props for that. And uh, yeah, I was going to do a game too, but I, I don't really see how I show that off better. God. Their plan was to do a second game, but that was actually kind of long and yeah, this is chaotic. It's strong, but chaotic. That's really the main point is it's definitely much more unpredictable, even though you can predict how it's going to work and you can play around it. And I'm sure I'd get used to it compared to the other setup, which is just damage reduction or an extra heal on the queue. You can really expect how this is going to work and it makes Avora really consistent most of the time. And this makes her way more chaotic, way more glidey. The speed buff with the lifesteal here is a really big power spike for her, but it's kind of weird and I like it, but I don't know if I'm necessarily better with it. Does that make sense? I would recommend you try it at least and definitely have it as an option because it's fun and different and strong and yeah that is where i'm gonna leave it as usual a scuffed thumbs up from me thank you so much for watching leave a like if you've enjoyed definitely let me know what you want to see with the next your thoughts on these new cards for vora see you guys all really, really soon and as always stay frost thanks